The seven basic principles of interior designing can be achieved by applying design elements. They are the base and foundation of interior design. In this video, I will guide you about the seven basic principles of interior designing. Let's get started. Among all the principles of interior designing, the first one to be discussed is balance. It is all about the visual weight of your space and how to divide it between two sides. One quick lesson people tend to learn from the time they're very young is when there's no balance present, things tend to go sideways. Whether it is stacking blocks of wood a mile high, riding your bike, knowing when to enjoy leisure time, when to take a break, or when to work hard. This all has to do with balance. It is life constant. But how can this concept be translated into interior design? Let's find out. When things are balanced, everything feels right. Some designers even believe that it is everything in design, so if you mess it up, all other steps fall apart. When you check what balance means, the dictionary says an evenly distributed weight that enables something or someone to remain steady and upright. In interior designing, this means evenly distributing elements to create balance visually. So balance can be created by using different forms, colors, or textures or even creating literal space by symmetry. together with balance forms two most important principles that we need to learn about. The concept of emphasis in interior design principle states that a central piece of furniture or an art piece needs to play roles of graphic attention. One of our first tasks is to choose our focal point and after that start balancing and applying all other principles. Each interior design element like texture, form, paint and color can create specific focus points. You can also emphasize more than one area in your space to create some drama and interest. decided the balance and our focal point, it's time to move towards contrast. In interior design, contrast has to do with the difference of colors and luminance of objects differentiating with each other. It is achievable using three elements. These are space, form and color. One can also use prints or pillows of two colors opposite such as white or black to achieve contrast. You can also achieve it by the combination of two or more forms. For example, combine a rectangular sofa to a circle mirror to distribute and balance the attention between both of the items. that is rhythm. We think of contrast, scale, 
and rhythm at the same time when we want to achieve good balance. We mostly have heard about rhythm in music, but in interior designing, it is utilized to help the eye move around within a specific space in an organized thought and manner. Rhythm also plays a huge role in the way people perceive your interior, both in terms whether or not it is pleasing aesthetically and in terms of functionality. Most interior designers understand how important scale and proportion is. Scale and proportion is a very important principle in interior designing. Let's find out what is the difference between the two of them? Scale refers to one object size concerning another. Specifically, the concept of scale is used when one object size is known for certain. Whereas, proportion refers to the general size relationship between two objects. When designers talk about proportion, they are trying to explain how each element and object relate to one another in a room. Do you know about the golden ratio in interior design? Let's find out. When it comes to interior designing, you most probably have heard about the golden ratio that is 1.618. Objects that contain this ratio are thought to be very aesthetically pleasing, more beautiful and perfect. Interior designing has to do with a careful selection of colors, fabrics, materials, styles and products used for room decor. When decorating or designing, paying attention to the details is very important. Small details complete a room. For example, the floor's color or texture or the way wallpaper pattern matches the furnishes. When you find yourself redecorating or refurnishing your house and you feel that something is missing, that is the time to add the small details in it. We can say that after completing the six principles of interior design, we are near to the finish line. We made sure that there is right amount of balance, rhythm, scale, proportion, contrast and even details but there is one last important principle that we need to incorporate which is unity and harmony. Unity is when similar elements combine together. You can feel they just fit together. Achieving all seven principles of interior design can be hard. We need to have great sense and eye to master the last principle, which is harmony. Harmony is when things seem to belong together. It's about sameness. Design repetition such as form, shape, texture, color is the best method of achieving harmony to create compositions. A harmonious space seems to contain everything that works together perfectly. Everything just feels right. This is all for this video. If you like our channel, subscribe and like this video. Till next time, bye-bye.